back to camp, huh? Yeah. Hopefully we can convince some. Hey, look. Porsche. Nice. This might save us some time. But how do we make it stop? It's, it's going seriously fast. Just stop and honk. Hopefully it'll stop too. Let's block, block the road so it has to stop. stop and honk. Hopefully it'll stop. <sighs> hmm. It's not slowing down. Come on! There we go. What do we have here? Two tiny fellows. A lot of meat on those bones, though. Hello, miss. How are you doing? Just want to have a little How chat. You doing? What a nice question. You know, rabbit, I'm a bit hungry. We can help you with that. My thoughts exactly. Wait, what? What do you mean? Well, I've been thinking. Civilized society is pretty much dead. Hell, now we can slowly move away from our fish-only diet. It's only the fourth month of the apocalypse. <laughs> Isn't it a bit early for cannibalism? Society will rise again. Let's wait a few more until we go totally nuts. Isn't it a bit early for cannibalism? <laughs> it's not cannibalism if I eat a rabbit. <laughs> right, but uh, why rabbit? Why not dog? Hey! Who do you think I am? An Asian Damn. black bear? Anyhow, what's wrong with fish? Times are tough. And I'm getting an appetite for something else nowadays. Come on, fish are delectable. There's a good reason we've all been eating only fish for the last 2,000 years. Who doesn't like a good smoked salmon? There's a good reason we've all been eating only fish for the last 2,000 years. Name one. All the omega-3 made us pretty smart. Healthy animal relationships. Well, all the omega-3 made us pretty smart. <sighs> Don't give me that pop science bullshit. So what do you want, anyway? We have a proposition for you. How's scavenging working out for you? Let me tell you a bit of ourselves. Let me tell you a bit about ourselves. I'm dying to hear. We are hmm? professional... Resource, resource gatherers. collecting guides. What? Yes, we help guide animals through the best kinds of... Looting locations and keep them safe from weirdos. From who? Undead animals. Why are you calling them weirdos? It's just what they're called nowadays. Wait, are you from the Scavengers Guild? <laughs> no, but do you know about them? Yes, we are very reliable, as you surely yes, have heard already. We are very reliable, as you surely have heard already. When did you become members? From the beginning, a few months yeah, ago. A few months ago. Hmm. Did you? Because I was living there till a month ago. You did? Yes. So? Well, we probably miss each other. Well, they have many members. Not everybody knows they everybody. have many members. Not everybody knows everybody. Why are you lying about being a member? What are you talking about? There are not many members, and everybody knows everybody. That's just probably the impression you had. Hmm, I never noticed. Hmm, I never noticed. Will you cut the crap already? All right, fine. Maybe we ain't members. But we'd really like to join, so we pretend sometimes. Freaking weirdos. Zombies? Where? What? No, you are weirdos. Look, can you please not misuse the term? That's what zombies are called now. <sighs> Larry has a point. But back to the guild. Can you tell us where it is, or can you help us get memberships? Can you tell us where it is? There's no point, really. Why? Because a bunch of useless pricks like you two would never get a membership in that kind of exclusive place. Come on, we're getting a lot of things. Like guiding scavengers, like locating like the best locating loot. locating the best loot. How do you do that? By using a map. A map? Where did you get a map? <laughs> he means making a map. They actually have animals making these maps at the guild. Helping scavengers loot without wandering too much. You know what? Whatever. I'll tell you where it is. What do I care anyway? It's that godforsaken hostel at the end of the town. 
Hmm. I forgot the name. The three chickens, the flying dog. Three chickens? No, the other one. Burning goat, sleeping broad, luscious, luscious joes. joes. Yeah, that one. But I wouldn't be so excited. It's virtually impossible for animals like you to join. Let us change your mind about that one. Let's go for one round of scavenging, and you'll see what we're all about. Are you dumb? You don't need to persuade me. I'm not a member anymore. Nevertheless, want to do this? I'm considering eating rabbits, not doing chores for them. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's really more like we work for you. You get the key. 80% loot. 90% loot. 70% loot. And how do you feel about me eating your legs? Ha ha. <laughs> how should you suggest? Both. Both of what? Of your legs. Ugh. If you really could help me, 90%. But I don't see what's in this for me. I'll tell you what's in it for you. 90% loot. P100% safe. We're getting the best quality. Safe. For only 25% loot. 15% of your loot. If that's not a fair bargain, I don't know what is. No zombie is going to jump you. Well, those hidden zombies are a real fucking problem. What the heck? Let's give this thing a shot. I can always eat you if I'm not happy with how it turns out. Great, let's do it. Yo. Hop in. How many places do we have left on the map? Just one more. This one's my favorite so far. All right. Wine cellar. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to eat a rabbit after all. All right, all right. Can we cut the rabbit eating jokes and just do this? If only you knew how serious I am. Uh. Gotta say though, I can't be too disappointed. It is a wine cellar. Yeah, right. It's as good as food. It's better. I'm going in. And you asses better keep your eyes open. <laughs> we will. This door has already been looted, pinheads. There's nothing left? Just a few bottles. And there's a cellar door. Well, that's where all the wine is. Animals are terrified of cellars nowadays. Well, it's locked. We can guide you to lock them. Get out of here. You're gonna guide me. There. Oof. I've been breaking locks since before I learned how to walk. I'm going in. Fuck! Who are you? What do you want? You scared the shit out of me, Daffy! Who's Daffy? <laughs> yeah, Daffy. Like you don't know who Daffy Duck is. What is it? Some homeless bird? Uh, looks like it. Who are you talking to? Uh, hi, Duck. Larry here. Hey, you know, a wine cellar is not a homeless shelter. <laughs> I'm not homeless. <laughs> this is just where I sleep. Sleeping in... An abandoned building. Someone's wine cellar. An abandoned cellar. building is the definition of being homeless. What the heck are you talking about? It's the zombie apocalypse! Alright, hobo. There's no point in arguing with you. You should know that we're looting the cellar. Well, I was here first. So I'll just loot the wines I like, and you can have the rest. And how about I eat your legs, ugly duckling? And then I'll choose first. Aha, uh -huh, we're bro. primal here. Okay, okay. <laughs> But know that I am well versed in martial arts. Plus, I have this little friend by my side. Aww, how precious. Looks like I'll be eating some bird legs after all. Oh, uh, well, in that case, feel free to loot first. Fuck, you have a gun? You know, the really weird thing is that everybody doesn't have a gun. And the zombie apocalypse, who can't be safe. Well, it's not really a gun brimming <laughs> town. <sighs> Tell me about it. I'm going into the cellar. Now we're talking, baby. This bitch is loaded. All right. Oh, look at this. No, I wanted that. <sighs> okay, okay. You don't have 
have to flash <laughs> your gun every time you don't like something. Shut up, hobo. You're gonna get you shot, get hobo. shot, hobo. I'm not a hobo. Better listen to the rabbit. He's a rabbit? Why don't you eat his legs? Oh, I will. I'm gonna make a duck rabbit stew. And I'll need some Pinot Noir for afterwards. Gonna make a hmm. whole evening out of it. Oh, shit. What? Um, I'm not. Give us a second. What, Larry? Just tell her there's a zombie at the door. Is it, though? I don't think I can fucking tell a drunk animal from a zombie. Of course it's a zombie. Let me take a look. Yeah. Well, I guess it's... I don't know. So what? I'll just tell her we're not sure. Are you serious? She's already talking about eating you. She's joking. <laughs> Hopefully. But do you think she'll honor our deal if she sees that we can't tell if an animal is a zombie or not? Well, that would make us pretty crappy scavenger guides. It does! I'm feeling really strong imposter syndrome right now. What imposter syndrome? We are imposters. We are? Oh, totally. Alright, let's just take a good look <laughs> and decide if it's a zombie or not. Hey, Bill and Ted, what's going on? Oh, listen, Bill and Ted. in front of the store, there's a... Zombie. Great. Oh shit. It's just a stupid chicken. Just no bird, not a zombie, a zombie chicken? A just zombie a chicken? chicken? What did I just say? Exactly that. <sighs> Locked. I don't want to deal with this game yet. I'm going to go loot now. Not yet. I've seen more bottles I want. Uh. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, I wanted those. <laughs> uh, I hate to be the bad news bringer, but Hank won't say it. There is a coyote in front of your door. A fucking coyote? What the fuck is bringing those stinkers here? Weirdos. What? That's what they call nowadays. Weirdos. And you think this is relevant now? Hey, communication is very important. Just forget I mentioned. Communication is very important. Oh, okay. I have something to communicate to the meat on your bones. Maybe you should be a bit quieter. They're trying to break the glass. Oh, well, we are through. Chill out, Daffy. I've handled more serious situations than a coyote and a chicken. A coyote is a pretty serious situation. I'll deal with it. Shut up, hobo. The lady has a gun. Oh, yeah, right. I can't carry much more, but there are some sweet wines over here. Let's see if there are some worth swapping with ones I looted. Oh shit. Oh damn, she can't carry anymore? Hmm. Five to twenty. Oh, five to fifteen. Oh, God, you can seriously forget right now. Hank, go ahead, tell them the news. Go ahead, tell them the news. You tell them. No, I've told the last two times. Uh, what you, dumb and dumber? The last two times were nothing compared to this one. Nevertheless, I think... What you? Oh. There's a bear trying to get in. There's a big, big trouble in front of the store. <laughs> There's a bear trying to get in. A fucking bear? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, damn. The fox and a bear walk into a wine cellar. Oh my fucking god! Let me guess the punchline. The rabbit loses his legs at the end. I really hope you have enough bullets to bring down a fucking bear. Do you know how many bullets it would take to kill a bear zombie? I seriously, this one really sounds like a joke. I swear to God, rabbit. <laughs> okay, of 
Okay, sorry. Let me try. One butt to the head. At least three more than ten. One butt to the head. Rabbit, shut the fuck up. Consider your legs eaten. Okay, okay. Calm down. I'm just trying to help. You're trying to get your legs the fucking hell. And how many do you have? Zero. Zero? Yes. Zero. Seriously? Seriously. There is only one fucking army corps in this fucking town. And it was the first fucking thing that everybody looted. This is my personal gun. But of course, I'm out of fucking ammo by now. This turned into a really dark joke, but that's gonna be a problem. It's turning into a really dark joke. Why the hell are you waving that gun around then? Because it makes you shit your pants. Shut the fuck up and let me think. You better think fast, because it doesn't look like the class will last much longer. Do you morons have any bright ideas? Isn't that your role in this little scheme? Oh, we really screwed the pooch this time. Hey, it's not our fault. They pulled weirdos from the whole neighborhood by yelling like morons. You know what? I have an idea. Let's do the same. We honk, pull the zombies to our van, and then slowly drive away. Hmm, let's see. Our low fuel light has been on for some time now, so if it runs out, or if anything else happens to the van, we'll be the ones stuck with zombies all around us. Plus, how will we get our part of the loop? Maybe she'll meet us somewhere later. Will she? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but do you have an alternative? Yes. Tell our foxy lady to open the door and run into the basement. It seemed very big from what I could tell. So there's enough space for her to avoid the zombies, go back upstairs, and escape the building. They can easily die doing that. Yeah, and we can also die. And listen, if she's as badass as she talks, she'll manage to dodge her way out. And if she's not, then it'll serve her right. Intimidating us with no basis. I don't know how. Damn. I prefer my idea. Well, both are risky. I think I have an idea. You? I'll just sacrifice the duck. What the hell? Listen. <laughs> Run into the basement, maneuver around the zombies, and then get out. Well, that sounds good. I'm sorry, but the thing is to do what other options you have. It's kind of hard to think when there's a giant monster roaring in your face. Alright. I guess that's what I have to do. Are you serious? You're gonna let them in? That's the plan, Hobo. Are you stupid? I'm unlocking the door. Damn, she sacrificed him after all. Wow. D did you just... Did you... Really? Close your jaw. Oh, um... Okay. That was some dark shit. It was dark humor, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, here is the punchline. I'm keeping all the loot. Hey, we had a deal. Come on now, we need those. How about some honor among thieves? Hey, we had a deal. Consider yourself lucky I didn't snap your neck. Fucking cabbage. That was <laughs> unreal. Fucking cabbage. Yeah. Brutal. Poor Daffy. So, Poor uh, Daffy. What now? Is this the last place around? Yeah, the scavengers guild is our next destination. We'll need a miracle to get in. We'll talk our way in. I really hope your delusional confidence will help. If we stay on the streets, we're as good as dead. That was funny. <laughs>